These guys guessed it right first. Max Hunts 123, Raphael Espinoza, and Everyday Acts of Awesome. You guys were spot on. What's up, Corey gang? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are all having a very good time. Today, we are going to be getting our hands on one of the coolest little creatures of the fish tank, packed with personality and packed with some sharp teeth. Who could it be? This animal who I can see. But yeah, I've been meaning to get these guys, get my hands on these guys for a while, and I just so happen to have a vacant tank right there now. Um, been cleaning it up, been uh, doing water changes, and uh, getting rid of the algae, cause a lot of algae was growing, so I turned down the photo hours. Um, doing water changes also helps. For a small little tank, boy is it dirty. <laughs> Also, I gotta get the uh, white ram's horns out of there because when the dwarf puffer gets in, uh, all of these snails are gonna be game. Time to feed the pea puffer my uh, Malaysian trumpet snails because I have a huge, huge population in my 40 gallon, but the staple diet will be bloodworms because these uh, pea puffers, according to Cory from Aquarium Co-op, they don't actually need their teeth to be grinded down by the uh, shells. These are the only species of freshwater puffers that don't actually need it, but I'm still going to try to treat them some Malaysian trumpet snails from time to time, just because I have a never-ending supply of these snails. And while I'm vlogging here, look at these guys just begging for food. They're always up here begging for food whenever they see me. Do I not feed you guys enough? Come on. You guys even get bloodworm. What other endlers get bloodworms all the time? Get out of here. You don't want your ram's horns to be eaten by the little puffer dude. Especially these white ram's horns. Um, some people breed for the ultra red color. I also like the white, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty unique. Uh, unique color in the fish tank hobby. Just gonna leave them in this little container. Make sure to be extra, extra, extra delicate with them because you can very easily and accidentally crack their shell. And they're going into my endler tank. Straight into the endler tank. Now I don't see any more right now, but sometimes they just pop out randomly. You think you got them all and then you notice, nope, there's a few more in there. Anyway, for the two, they're going into the endler tank. The lights are not on yet because it's still a little early in the morning. These guys have a good time acclimating. They're pretty hardy, so I, I figured I wouldn't, you know, do too much with the acclimation, especially because all the water parameters are pretty much the same in this room. And I'm pretty interested to see what kind of morphs or colors I'm going to get because I'm also uh, stocking this tank with some red ram's horns. So I wonder which color will win out or perhaps they'll just make a hybrid. A little white, a little red. I wonder if they'll find each other and start a family. A nice happy snail family. Bridging all of the differences. It doesn't matter if you're red, it doesn't matter if you're white, as long as you love each other. So I went to this local fish store that I don't usually go to, but I know without fail they always have some pea puffers in stock, or dwarf puffers as they call it. They are kind of lacking in fish selection and dare I say some quality, but they definitely have a large selection of aquascaping material, tank equipment, and by far the biggest variety of custom tanks I've ever seen in a fish store. The puffers at this store were getting a little big and a little nippier. I see that some of their tails and fins were looking rough. I picked one that wasn't the best looking in terms of fins, but wasn't the worst. I wanted to help one heal up, but not take one that will most likely just die on me. This was my first puffer after all. After waiting the appropriate amount of acclimation time, he was free to go. This guy is too cute. The way he hovers makes him look like the hummingbird of the fish world.
If you have a name suggestion, please leave a comment and I will give a shout out for the name I pick. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one and don't forget to get your hands wet.